Hello, I am Frederick Lemieux coming to you from the LG Digital Studio at Georgetown University School of Continuing Studies. In focus today, January 6, Insurgency. I am joined by Donald Arvin, who is the Senior Policy Researcher at the RAND Corporation. He also teaches for the Masters in Applied Intelligence here at Georgetown. Prior and during January 6, 2021, you were the Chief Homeland Security and Intelligence as well as the Executive Director of the National Capital Region Threat Intelligence Consortium. Welcome, Donald. Thank you, Frederick. Thank you for having me. Let me start off with my first question. We're almost one year in the, uh, in the insurg after the insurgency that happened on January 6, 2021. Um, would you say that the incident was an intelligence failure or a failure to act on intelligence? Um, it, it was certainly the latter. It was uh, a failure of the, um, the, the understanding and contextualizing the threat um, and actually perceiving the threat as a threat. There was a vast amount of intelligence that was gathered uh, in, the, in the days and weeks leading up to January 6th. It was analyzed, it was shared. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't acted upon. And, and that's what we see a lot in the intelligence community, uh, that the intelligence analysis, the intelligence enterprise will do their job, but that doesn't necessarily translate into operational readiness. And in this particular case, uh, it did not. Thank you. And what do you think are the, the lessons to be learned um, after the, this event? Well, there's, there's a lot of lessons that be learned. Um, and, and there's a lot of committees, uh, such as the House Select Committee on January 6th, that are looking at uh, issues such as this. I'll share with you um, and our audience what I shared with them. Um, the intelligence enterprise in the United States is fractured. It's, it's not broken, but it's fractured. The reason why I say that it's because it's based on and built mostly on a post 9-11 fear of jihadi terrorists uh, coming from foreign soils and attacking us. Um, that's clearly not the threat that we're seeing now with domestic terrorism and the rise of radicalism and the mobilization from radicalism to violence. And so what we don't have is a more introspective uh, domestic intelligence enterprise that can look outside of our borders as well as inside. And so certainly I think that there's a role for the ODNI to get involved here. Um, I don't believe that uh, DHS and the FBI uh, should, should be uh, mitigating these uh, threats by themselves and working these things out. Um, and, and one of the good things we've we found post uh, January 6th uh, is really the, the emergence of the Fusion Center as a viable option uh, for the domestic intelligence enterprise uh, to collect, gather, and now analyze, as well as contextualize the threat, not only regionally, but within the United States. Thank you. And, and what's your thoughts on how, how can we better prepare intelligence analysts to, uh, to counter domestic violent extremism and also to, to prevent any future um, attacks on our American institutions? That, that's another great question. So um, in, in, when I was briefing pre-January 6th and after January 6th, the very high level government officials, um, obviously our focus was the, the radical right. Um, but then this time we have uh, threat streams that are, that are converging around a whole host of issues. And so it's not just the right that has the patent um, on, on radicalism and violence, it's also the left. Um, there's also individuals that don't have a left or right leaning um, bend or, or agenda, uh, accelerationists we call them, that simply just want to start a race war. And so the analysts of the future will be best served um, understanding all the threats um, that, that we're facing. Some of the things that we do here in Georgetown um, that I actually learned as a professor and I learned from you um, is to be able to engage in structured analytical technique. Um, these are critical skills. In fact, I'll share this with you, uh, Frederick. Um, the week before uh, January 6th, my team, who you assisted in training, um, engaged in a structured analytical technique, and we did red teaming for January 6th. And this has been widely reported. My junior analysts, who had only been with us for about six months, uh, who got structured analytical technique training from myself and from you, um, predicted that or, 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 or used as a, a scenario, the Capitol being stormed and 
uh, two improvised explosive devices being placed near the Capitol to draw law enforcement away. So it's that type of um, outside of the box um, uh, analysis, contrarian analysis, alternative analysis, challenging the assumptions that we're going into these situations with that I think are really key. Um, and, that, and that the students that we currently have and perhaps prospective students should be looking to get um, to gear them up for these type of uh, scenarios in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Arvin, uh, for sharing your insights. It's been a pleasure talking with you. And thanks to everyone out there for watching. Stay tuned for more from Georgetown SCS.